how'd you come up with this bakery of yours? Okay, so how did Bunch of Dreams start, I guess? So where did it begin? <laughs> okay, so it all started when I was in Mexico. Um, I grew up, well, I, I went there for a couple years to live with my grandma and my grandpa. And um, when I was there, I remember seeing my uncle and my aunts. They all had like their own shops. And then I remember just thinking, you know, I was probably five years old, just thinking like, oh, I want a panaderia one day. I don't know why pan, I don't know why, like, cause they didn't have a panaderia. They had like a, como se llama? Um, there's a name for school supply shop. Como se llama? No? Well, there's a name for it, but they had like a, like a supply store and then they had like your typical, like, here like a liquor store you know with snacks and drinks and all that so I don't know where Bond came from and so but I just like kind of like from there I just had this dream like I'm gonna have a panaderia one day I'm gonna have a panaderia one day and again mind you like no one in my family is like a panadero like that um so it was just a dream that I've had it's more like what I was telling you the other day like something that's just been instilled in me since I was very young like this is where I was headed to like the goal has always been the panaderia and so um you know the years went by I was growing up and um I would share this dream with everyone you know like and it it's not like a passion of mine either I mean I love to bake I love desserts that's like something that I do like to do but it's not like I ever learned how to make conchas or ever learned how to make cuernos or none of that. I just, like, I always would tell my friends and, you know, like, and family members, like, I want a panaderia one day. And so um, I remember when I started, when I graduated college, you know, I started my jobs. And when I got to this last job that I'm at, which is at NorCal, I remember, um, I, I, it's a, it was a beautiful, like, season with the Lord, because I was very, like, deep in prayer, very much connected to the Lord, and I remember asking the Lord one day, like, you know, like, what, I don't even know the exact question, but I think it was, like, where am I headed here, like, am I making an uh, accounting, like, my full-time job, or, like, what is this thing of the panaderia that I can't let go of, and, um, I think inside of my heart I knew that accounting was just like a vehicle to get me there like it was just a step and so when I asked the Lord that I, I remember him telling me one day like the job you're at is this is your last job like this is the last one you're gonna you're not gonna go to another company you're not gonna do another job like once you're done here at NorCal like you're done done you know and so um that's what we did you know we we decided that well, no, no, that's what happened. So then, um, fast forward to meeting my husband, you know, we had our, we got together, we had our beautiful family and the pandemic hit. And I just remember I was pregnant with Alonso, right? I think I was pregnant at this time already. And I remember, um, you know, we were all stuck indoors, shut inside. We weren't going to leave, you know? And, um, I felt the nudge from the Lord again, like, well, like, why don't you learn how to make conchas? And, you know, this is the era of YouTube where it, this is, you know, the 2020s, 2010s, even like, you know, so I was like, okay, fine. So I looked up a video and I started to see more and more and more. And we came across this one recipe that we really liked or that really intrigued us. And so we started making conchas out of our home in 2020. And then um, the first time we really made conchas like that was for um, my drive-by baby shower. We made a whole bunch of conchas. <laughs> they were not, they were not the best conchas, but we made them and we gave them out as party favors. And you know, people came by and everything. And then from there, like it really started with my sister-in-law. She took leftovers to her job at Fridays. 
and we started to people started asking for more they were like we want some we want some and um and we're like okay like i guess we gotta kind of start you know and i remember telling you like you know what's our what's our name and you weren't really invested in it but once it was she was like oh let's think and so she was helping me and i can't remember who even said it but somebody said concha dreams and we liked it and we kept we stayed with it and so since 2021 we've been like baking and doing orders and right now we're in 2023 and i'm pregnant with my third child and we are at that crossroads where we are going to fully go into this and i'm gonna leave that job and that word that god gave me that destiny that purpose that plan you know that god has always had for us with this bakery like is coming to fulfillment um and i was telling you like i it's not like i dream of being a, a baker you know like no it's like when you're little you know what's your dream job and i didn't dream of being a baker it was just something i knew i had to do like it was part of my it was part of the destiny it's part of the, the thing that god had for me that was my purpose i think even purpose is what i feel behind that because it's just been in me all this time and you know when you came into my life like you remember like everyone knew about this dream <laughs> like everyone know, knew that i was gonna have a bakery and um now that i think about it it's kind of crazy like kind of going back through this like why would i tell people that <laughs> Well, why would I tell people like I want I want to have a panaderia, but like God knows, and so here we are, check in in a couple of years, and see where we're at. <laughs>